Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to Grade 7 Prep video series. Hello. Um, so today we're going to talk about feelings. Feelings. Essentially, the fact of the matter is right now there's a lot of feelings going around, whether it might be that you're sad that you might not be seeing your friends every day, you might be anxious about starting Grade 7, um, you might feel worried about this whole COVID situation, and those are all totally totally normal feelings to have right now. You go to different junior high than your friends, um, but we just want you guys to know that it's all totally okay to feel um, a bit nervous or anxious or emotional right now, especially with all the added stuff that's going on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it's okay to like feel sad about missing, you know, the end of grade six. Um, I know it could be hard if you didn't really feel like you didn't really completely finish grade six and now you know people are gonna go directly into grade seven which yeah could be a little bit nerve-wracking so it's completely normal to feel that way um the one thing that i do want to add into that though is that it's totally normal to feel really sad or really anxious sometimes but if you're always feeling really sad or really worried and you don't know if you are in control of that or able to do anything about it and it feels like no matter what you do everything feels mushy um, then you should probably talk to an adult or um, a parent or we're gonna add some resources for you in the description um, that, of people you can talk to um, if you're feeling just really really extra sad and extra nervous all the time because while it's normal to feel sad or nervous sometimes um, sometimes our bodies glitch a little yeah. and kind of get stuck in that and that's not normal so we want to make sure you guys are taking care of yourself like that exactly having a lot of feelings in junior high is super normal um you guys don't have to super worry about it sometimes it's gonna feel like you're so angry that you might never feel not angry again but that's just how your body is working right now it's working really hard to help you become from a kid to a grown-up and one of the side effects of that is a lot of feelings. 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 <laughs> so we also just want to tell you guys that, you know, we don't always get to choose how we feel in the situation, especially because, you know, this is all happening and, you know, grade six got, like, had to get cut off a little bit earlier. But also we, we do get to choose how we, like, what we do with mm -hmm. those feelings as well. So um, it's our choice and it's our responsibility to decide how we're going to uh, react. To some of those feelings that you might not expect that would have come up mm -hmm. um, so for example like if you're feeling a little bit angry um, it's a better idea to maybe write in a journal on why you're feeling that way instead of just uh, punching your brother in the someone. face yeah yeah <laughs> that's not a great great decision to make yeah. with that feeling we also wanted to note that while our mood can affect our behavior sometimes our behaviors can affect our mood yeah. So I know sometimes I'm really guilty for it, but I'll just listen to like a thousand sad songs in a row and then I'll be like, why am I so sad all the time? Yeah. But it's because I'm making a choice that impacts my decisions. So we wanted to challenge you guys to um, do something to take care of yourself this week and tell us about it in the comments. Um, so in this past week, I read a book. And it was a really nice book, and it taught me a lot about some decisions I can make about my own feelings. And so, reading that was really good. Um, have you done anything for self care lately? Yes, I actually have. Um, so, throughout this whole thing, I've been feeling very nervous, uh, maybe a little bit sad too, um, just because I didn't really know, like, you know, with everything going on, I didn't really know, like, it was kind of hard for me to remember what to be grateful for. Mm -hmm. So I started actually a gratitude journal. So I have one in my room, and I, every single day I write in it. So I write three things, um, like what I can be grateful for every single day, and I make sure that they're all different. It mm -hmm. can be something as simple as, I'm grateful to have a nice comfy bed to sleep in. Yeah. So, and that made me feel a lot better, it made me realize, like, what I do still have, and all this. Yeah. Yes. But um, yeah. yeah, so we want to hear from you guys what you guys do to take care of yourselves when you're feeling really sad or angry or worried or whatever you're feeling, what you're doing to take care of yourself. Self-care is super, super important. Um, yeah, yeah. please let us know in our Google document and we'll give you a shout out. Shout out. <laughs> um, speaking of the uh, 
Google thing. If you have any anonymous questions about junior high, you should put those into our Google form, which is also in the description. The description is juicy this week. Yes, it's it got is. a lot going on. The description. <laughs> the description. <laughs> uh, down below these flowers is actually a description. We've had a couple of interesting questions already. So the first one that we got was, um, well, the first one we got was about our cameras, but we, yeah. we messaged that's, them. Hopefully, hopefully, that's, fixed, hopefully yeah. that's better, Mason. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give you a shout out. Um, we also had someone asking about foods courses because they were feeling a little nervous that the knives are gonna be really sharp and knives aren't something they've used much before. Um, and our answer to that is knives are typically sharp. But you have a foods teacher whose job is to teach you how to use a knife safely. So if you listen to your teacher and follow their instructions, you'll be fine. Yeah, and also I feel like if we're talking and if the knives are really, really sharp, then you guys probably won't use it during food. That's so, true. Yeah, so trust your teacher and learn how to cook. And yeah. I think yeah. everything will be good. It's an important skill. Yeah. We also got another question. Um, it was about uh, worries about bullying into grade seven or junior high. Um, and actually, we will be talking about that next week. Next week. Next week. So make sure to tune in for that. Next week, we'll be talking all about those concerns that you guys may have about that certain topic going into grade seven. Yeah. All right. So don't forget, one last time, leave your questions for us. We'll answer them in our videos. Um, stay safe. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye.